What's up, YouTube? Gonna be changing the fuel pump on this 1997 Mazda B2300. So I have a uh, T55 Torx bit, this breaker bar, a couple extensions, and then I'm gonna be using this liquid wrench spray for the bolts. So I disconnected the negative terminal on the battery just so there's no power going to the fuel pump. First thing I'm gonna do is take off the tailgate. Uh, so there's gonna be these little straps right here that just click right off. So this little metal piece will pull up here and then you can just click it off. So there's one of them. And then on the other side, doing the same thing, it just clicks right off. Next, I'm gonna pull this up. So this unhooks from here and then it just pulls straight out uh, once you pull to the right. Uh, so there's the tailgate. So I'll put this off to the side, and there we go. Now I'm gonna disconnect the rear tail lights so I can take the bed off. So coming from underneath, you can see the plug right here. So I'm just gonna need to take this apart. So using this spray, just gonna spray this really good. Now I'm gonna hold this pin down right here, and then I'm using the flathead screwdriver to get in between the plug just to loosen it up. Uh, now that I got it loose, I'm just pull this straight out. Next, I'm going to want to push this up. So I have a basic pair of pliers just squeezing the teeth in and then using this to push it out. Now this wire harness is free to move with the bed when I take it off. Next, I'm going to remove the fuel cap and then there's three bolts in total, uh, seven millimeters for each of them. So I've got a seven millimeter socket and the extension. Once all the bolts are out, you can just push this in. So I'm just pushing it in with my thumb. And I got my glove stuck, but yeah, and then that just goes through. Now you can take the bed off. So I'm gonna spray all these bolts down with some liquid wrench. Uh, that way they're freed up. So there's six of them in total. Also gonna spray them from underneath too and get to a couple of them. So got my T55 Torx bit and my breaker bar ready. And so just loosening every single one of these. Now I got all six bolts out. Uh, so now the bed is free to move. So gonna get this thing off. When removing the bed, I just laid out these towels. That way I have this to rest on the back bumper without scratching it. So I definitely suggest using two people when you're taking this bed off. Um, I was able to do it by myself just by resting it on the tires and using some supports underneath to, to pull it up, but definitely a lot, lot easier if you have another pair of hands to move it. But now we're all free. So using these jack stands as extra support as it's resting on the back bumper. And as you can see here, the fuel filler neck is definitely cracked. It was leaking out whenever I tried to fill the tank all the way full. So just undid the clamp with the flathead screwdriver. And so here's the old filler neck next to the new one. Um, so definitely needed to change this out since it's about 25 years old and cracked at the, at the base here. So uh, definitely worth doing while I'm doing the fuel pump. And so the new one's just gonna slide right over uh, this hole right here. So before taking out the old fuel pump, I just got this blow off duster can, just gonna get as much debris out of the way. So I got as much debris cleaned up so it doesn't fall in the tank. Uh, so there's just gonna be these little clips on the fuel lines that you're gonna need to take off. And then for the plug, just use a flathead. So I'm gonna use a flathead here just to get underneath it and just pop this guy up. Okay. 
And there we go. So that pops off pretty easily. And then now we gotta get the fuel line clips out. So just working out this clip. And so that just pops and then there's the clip right there. And here's the second one. So I've got this guy out. So now we can take the both fuel lines off and we're just gonna put these off to the side. Next, I'm just gonna use this hammer and this chisel to spin the cap off. I uh, couldn't use a screwdriver, that would work fine. So I got the old fuel pump out and then I got it next to the new one. Uh, so just gonna replace the whole unit since it's about 25 years old and it's the original one. Um, and then as you can see with the new one, it comes with the new rubber seal, the two new clips, and then the whole new unit. So got everything installed, got the fuel lines hooked back in and the fuel pump plugged in and then the fuel filler hose installed. So before I put the bed on, just gonna make sure the car starts and runs fine. There we go, so looks like the fuel's getting there, so I'm gonna put the bed on next. Got the bed put back on, just need to reconnect the tail lights, put the tailgate on and connect the fuel filler hose. Reconnecting the fuel filler hose. Uh, so just coming from underneath and lining up the bolts to screw those back down. So all set here, got everything reconnected. Uh, truck is running great. So as you can see underneath here, there's the fuel filler hose. Uh, so no more leaking gasoline. Really hope the video is helpful if you're changing your fuel pump and thanks for watching guys.